John's an artist, and he had a wee clothing label where he used to put his art onto tees. I built a screen print carousel on the back of a door, and we got an order for 4,000 tees. Three of us worked seven days, just did eight hour shifts and slept upstairs and popped these tees out. The rest is kind of history. We specialise in water-based screen printing and embroidery and promotional products. When we started the business, we wanted to stay in Dunedin, so we kind of built a model around that, and that was making it accessible for all of New Zealand and outside of New Zealand to work with us. We knew we had to have a website because it was always about how can we have a front door that's to the world. John sort of done some research into this mythical thing of SEO. SEO directly affects the amount of traffic and leads that we get to our website and then when those leads come through we can turn that into a job. I kind of see SEO as like a score, whether it be out of 10 out of 100 and the more you can do to increase that score means you're going to show up higher in Google. It's kind of like a needle in the haystack. So we're always trying to be on page one. There's literally thousands of things that will affect your SEO ranking. A lot of it will be like what your website's built on, file sizes, page load speeds, all that sort of thing. The language and text that you use, we'll do a blog post about custom screen printed shirts. That's sort of the information that'll get served up when someone types in custom printed t-shirts, New Zealand. And then looking to help that score by creating engaging content, using video, using images, and making sure there's information embedded in those images and videos. We take really nice photos of the finished product to try and show the care that we put into printing it. SEO has to be at the fore of any marketing effort. Definitely just spend the time and get your website showing up.